Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are, hello, I'm Ellie. I talk about Primark and clothes and food and I travel a lot. I've just been to Disney so there's going to be Disney goodness coming up soon. And basically if you like the sound of that then please subscribe and follow along the journey. I mean I didn't do a great job of talking myself up but it's fun on this channel so come and join us. If you're just like get on with the video because I don't even know if I like it yet. This is going to be a Primark haul. I am the biggest Primark girl. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't then obviously you definitely should, um, I will put it on screen. I basically, if you do follow me, you will know that I'm the biggest Primark fangirl. I pretty much put up what I'm wearing every single day and it will either be a nearly all Primark outfit or it will feature at least one Primark thing because I just seem to find so many of my classic pieces in there. So I thought I'd just get on with the video because I've been in Primark and I've bought loads of things and here's what I got. Okay the first thing I'm going to mention is something that I featured in a favourites video a few weeks ago so I'll just quickly mention these. It is the Chloe Susanna-esque boots. I think that they were either 14 or 16 or potentially 12, so that's really helpful for you, um, pounds. I absolutely love them. They are so similar to the Chloe Susanna boots. Um, they look so much more expensive than they actually are. They're so, so, so comfortable. And as much as I've loved the Chloe boots for all of my life and have really wanted a pair, seeing how similar these look and just how good they look and rather than being like a dupe of the boots they just look like really cool fun boots and they also have them in black I think it's black suede grey and brown and basically all of the colours um I just wouldn't be able to justify that amount of money so these are absolutely incredible had them for maybe a month I've definitely just hit myself in the face there in case you didn't see I thought I'd put that out and I've worn them so so much so obsessed with those Next up for another pair of boots which I can't get enough of and I don't just go in Primark and buy designer dupes but these are also very similar to kind of like I want to say like a Chanel Gucci Dior hybrid because they have the kind of like very Dior Chanel pearls which are obviously not real pearls because they were in fact I think these were eight pound how is that even possible how is that even possible eight pounds they have the kind of like gucci loafer-esque bit here which i love and they are such a nice height but they're also so ridiculously comfortable i'm a tall girl i'm five eight so i do tower over the world wearing these but i love them so much i think they're really cool they go with so much they'll be amazing in the upcoming cooler months in the uk as well the only thing that i would say is i've worn them i've worn them about five or six times and they are slightly battered at the front now and the like is it patent patent the like fake leather as well has kind of like demolished off the front absolutely not even an english sentence there but hopefully you know where i'm going with it what i would say is i find that i have a lot of primark shoes and boots and heels and i think that they are one of the most comfortable shoes on the high street so definitely recommend primark shoes i also recommend all of the Disney stuff. Yes, I've bought all of the Disney stuff. This has just been washed so it is wet, but I wanted to show you. I'll pop a photo over anyway because as I mentioned, I went to Disney World recently and it was just the best time of my life. Like I could almost cry thinking about it. There'll be a vlog up soon, which I'm so excited for you to see. Um, but I just had the most incredible time. And obviously when I knew I was going, I was like, get me to Primark now so I can buy all of the cliche Disney pieces but my favourite one was this Minnie Mouse pink t-shirt I wore it to Magic Kingdom I met Minnie I met Minnie that sounds so weird to me I met Minnie while I was wearing this so I was obviously fangirling I had my Minnie Mouse ears I basically was living the cliche Disney dream um, but love this so much so comfortable it's very cute don't know how much wear I'd get out of it now that I'm back home in London because that might look a little bit fangirly for a 24 year old girl but I'm absolutely obsessed with this so love that I think it was probably, the Disney and Harry Potter pieces tend to be like a little bit more expensive, um, but I don't think that that was more than like six or eight pounds, so that's amazing. I also have another, where is it? I'll find it in a minute and I'll just carry on with the rest of the thing, but I also have another t-shirt which is like to do with Chip and Beauty and the Beast is my favourite, and honestly, I watched it on the plane there, the um, Hermione Emma Watson version, the new one, and I could not stop singing the song the whole way through. So I'm so sorry for the rest of the group that I was with. <laughs> because also I don't know the words, so I just sang the same line over and over again. But anyway, digressing. Um, 
the next thing that I'm going to show you is this blouse. If you follow my Instagram, you definitely would have seen it already. Probably would have seen this already. Um, I am obsessed with it. It will look much better on when I should, well, I hope it does. I think it looks much better on than when I'm just dangling it really unelegantly here, but it has this beautiful, like, drop collar almost detail it's a v-neck as well so super flattering um it is very very sheer so i wear this with like a nice bralette i actually got one from primark i think that primark underwear is incredible and they have the prettiest bralettes ever for like six pounds or something ridiculous so i would definitely pick up a black one if you get a chance and if you can find this but i absolutely love it i just think it's so pretty and it's so flattering and it just always looks like you've made a lot of effort without actually making a lot of effort so that is my favorite thing in the world because i am lazy um just found slash just got my mum to throw the t-shirt over as she's walked past my room this is my other disney t-shirt sometimes the best teacup is chipped sometimes it Okay, the next thing I have, I have also worn and not washed yet because I am so bad at washing slash just leave it on the floor and hope that the magic washing fairies will pick it up and wash it for me. Um, this dress I have worn a million times. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it a million times. And actually, if you follow Primark, you might have seen it because they regrammed me in my favourite dress of all time. That is slight exaggeration, but I am obsessed with it. It is this red florally dress it has a really pretty kind of like bell sleeve but with a really nice bow as well and what i like about this is it's kind of um a smock style so it's very kind of like straight and doesn't have any detail on um like the neck area or the rest of the body but it does actually nip you in at the waist so it's not smock it is it does kind of like come in a little bit of the waist but not too much so you can definitely go for like a breakfast buffet and eat 10 million rounds and never feel like too full and uncomfortable i mean you will feel full and uncomfortable but you won't be like oh my god I'm busting out of my dress so that is mainly why I love this so much but it's just comfortable it always looks good looks great with trainers or flats and also looks really nice with a nice pair of mules as well I've worn this so much and it is actually just my go-to dress it's getting to the point now where I've recycled this dress so many times that it's a little bit embarrassing don't care just don't care okay the next piece is probably my favourite thing that I've bought from Primark in a really long time is just this really simple leather look skirt. I cannot tell you, first of all, I cannot tell you how much it cost because I don't remember, but I think it was around eight to ten pounds, maybe even less. Um, that is a car and another one and now a siren and I'm back. Um, if I find a receipt I will put it on screen how much it was but it was no more than that and it was quite recent and I've seen it in Tottenham Court Road like a couple of days ago so you should be able to pick it up but just love it. I wore it yesterday with a jumper and some trainers. I've worn it with a shirt that I um, have down here. Just can't talk. I've worn it with a shirt that I'm about to show you in a second. I've worn it with t-shirts. I've worn it with boots, I've basically worn it with absolutely everything and I will continue to do so because it's so comfortable, it's a really nice length, as I've said I am a giant and this is not too short on me and yeah it's just really really flattering and does not look like pleather and like four pounds so yeah love that so much probably my favorite piece at the moment then the next thing that i am absolutely obsessed with hanger wars down here is this shirt which again looks nothing on camera but i just love it so much it's kind of bell sleeved also has a little tie detail which i think is really nice the buttons are gold slash definitely not gold but gold in color um and it's just really nice it's just such a nice like change to um, just a plain white shirt which I have many of but I think it's really nice to just have a little bit of a, a mix up as well and what I've done there is just pressed it against my face full of makeup so now my just wash shirt has got orange stains on it so that's that's something I'm really happy about right now love this shirt I just love it I think it goes with so much again as I said I wore it with this I'll pop over a photo from my Instagram and it was one of my favorite outfits and I also wore it with these boots as well one of my favorite outfits that I've worn in a really long time so love that shirt the next thing i have is this blue and white stripy shirt i'm just such a shirt girl and i feel like this is an absolute classic blue in particular i feel like always looks really smart and chic and a little bit parisian and basically i just can't get enough of that life because 
generally I'm not that sophisticated or chic and definitely not Parisian so anything that can help me out is wonderful love this so much so so comfortable not too tailored as well it's quite tailored in like the sleeves which is really nice but it can also if you like kind of unbutton it a bit it can be quite like slouchy and cool which I love this again was so ridiculously super affordable and I've worn it a million times so people always laugh when I say that I find a lot of classics in Primark because I think because it's so affordable people tend to think of it as something that is very like quick and fast fashion but actually I have things that I wear over and over again and the quality is great and it lasts a really long time obviously there'll be pieces that don't last so long but those shirts in particular I wear to death I while I remember this dress I wore for a reason because it is also Primark I am obsessed with it and again I had it on Instagram and people were asking a lot of questions about it and I just love it it's so pretty it has this kind of like flared bit here it's a really nice pattern quite unusual as well I feel like yellow or like a mustard yellow isn't really a color that's seen that much in stores so I love that it is smocky so I would usually wear a belt I just couldn't find a belt today um, but I'll put a picture up and show you how I styled it because I just love it and then finally in fact not finally I have a trench coat which I am obsessed with but it is downstairs and if I move I'll probably go out of focus and then I'll get really annoyed and then I will just be a mess in life which I am generally anyway but I would rather not be so much of a mess today so I will show you when I do cutaways um, what it looks like on I love it the only thing which is so so annoying is that when I took it out of the bag and obviously through the receipt because I wasn't that organized this time it had one of the little um, fasteners no buckles no ties like the arm ties it had one of them missing which is so annoying because actually it does look and feel so much nicer with it on but you win some you lose some my final thing are these trainers i wore them for the first time yesterday i've had them for a week or so now they're the most comfortable things of all time they remind me a lot of like the adidas giselle gazelle i i no idea no idea how to pronounce that they remind me a lot of those they're super comfortable and i just love them so much love the color as well i feel like they're gonna go with a lot of stuff that i'm wearing so that is it for my slightly mammoth and very kind of quick i always say this because i feel like i speak so much that i've rattled through it but it's probably been filming for about five hours um but that is the end of my haul i really really hope you enjoyed it if you did please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new i know that youtube is being a bit of a brat at the moment and not always putting videos in subscription boxes so if you do enjoy my videos make sure you subscribe along and maybe do the notification thing i've never said that in a video before but apparently that's helpful if you have a notification on and then it's just like woo she's posted a video which you know I don't know who would ever get excited about that apart from my mum but if you do then here is a new video and there will be many more to come because I am excited about YouTube but yes I'm going to stop waffling on now if you enjoyed the video please do let me know let me know what you've been loving and yeah hopefully I'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching have an amazing day love you all bye <laughs>